Hunter Collector here with another video. Before the video starts, I want to let you guys know to make sure you hit that subscribe and notification button. It really helps out showing the support for the channel. I do a bunch of other stuff besides gaming. I do drawing, building, collecting, uh, workouts, cooking, um, and then a bunch of other cool stuff with my friends. Um, and if you want to, me to put, be posting more videos each day, make sure you hit that subscribe button and let me know. Uh, but besides that, let's get right into the video. Hello everyone, this is Dante Collector here uh, with another action figure review. And here I have the Fan Boat 2020 action figure, which is Silk. Uh, I don't have the original Silk, so I'm not able to do like a side-by-side -side comparison. She's uh, The original one was pretty expensive, so I wasn't able to get it. But uh, I'm, ex I was excited for, I'm excited to get this one. Um, especially since it's white instead of gray, like the other one, but I think besides that, it's basically the same thing, but yeah. Here's the front for you, here's the side, and you get all the, like, Spider-Man villains, or you also get to see Spider-Man right there, uh, some others, Venom right there, and then here's the back, all the other Marvel heroes there. Actually, this, this is pretty interesting. I wonder if they're doing this every year. Mm, same, it, uh, more heroes on the other side. And then you get the Marvel logo furnished on the top there. And then here's the bottom with the DCPI. But besides that, let's crack her open. And here's Silk out of the packaging. So she has a bunch of accessories here. So let's go over those real quick. So she has this like little web clipping hand there. They did a good job with it. It's a soft, somewhat soft plastic, but I wouldn't mess with it too much. Uh, nice white paint along there. You get that little thumb popping out right there. And then the hand is basically, I think it's the same mold as these hands that she has right here. Like that one. But yeah, that one's cool. Uh, and then she has two pairs of fisted hands. Very tiny. Uh, they kind of remind me of Miles Morales' hands from the, uh, the Spider-Verse movie uh, two-pack. And I think these are supposed to be like web grabbing hands, maybe. But I'm not sure what they're supposed to be for for holding. But I, I, or relaxing hands, I guess. So yeah, those are cool. And then you get the extra head here with the little bandana or mask over over her mouth or face. They did a good job with the hair there. You get a little bit of blue going through there, black. You get the brown eyes there, mascara, good job. And you get the little wrinkles on the mask too, that's pretty cool. It actually looks like a mask too, so good job. Uh, and then let's go over the actual figure. So I don't have the silk figure like I said before, so this is my first silk figure. So I'll act like I've seen it, this is my first time seeing it. So here's the face. Good job on the head sculpt. That's the same one except without the mask. So nice job with the face sculpt. And then this is a separate piece. So you can take that off if you want to switch heads, which I will do actually real quick. So let's switch heads here. So you could just slide that off, but I'll probably put it back on just so that way I don't lose that piece. Uh, there we go. So she, here she is with the mask on. Uh, so for the Top torso, they got the little S there in the middle with the red webs going through. And then you get that little nice white detail going through the shoulders. Black arm sleeve, uh, red fingertips. Uh, and then it's kind of, it's like a big spider here. So it's like two legs there, two legs there, two legs there, two legs there. So pretty cool. And you get the legs coming out through the uh, inside thigh. Um, and then you get the little paint details on the toes. So yeah, um, I think they did a really good job with it actually. I think it looks pretty cool on um, myself. But let's go over the articulation here. So her head can hinge down really far, really good. Um, then up, if I can get her to look up. Uh, the hair kind of gets in the way so you can get her to look up that much. Uh, her shoulders can move out a little past 90 degrees there, so pretty good. 
Uh, you, you get 360 rotation around the shoulder, single jointed elbows still. So you get you get pretty close to 90 degrees. Might be exactly 90 degrees, but I wish they would do double jointed elbows for them. But I guess their the arms are a little skinny for that. I guess, but I don't know. I'm sure they could figure something out. Um, the wrists can hinge down that far, so you get her look like she's wall or crawling up a wall or something up that far. Um, and then also 360 rotation there. She does have a diaphragm joint, so you get her to go forward just a little bit, not a whole lot, backwards quite a bit, so that's good. And then you get side to side motion too, that's good. Uh, she could kick out only that far. Uh, that's a big problem for me, not a whole lot. Um, and then she could kick forward really far, so I'm good with that. Um, backwards, not a whole lot, but that's like any normal figure. Uh, she does have a thigh cut, and then she does have do double jointed elbow, I mean, knees, double, <laughs> sorry, double jointed knees. Um, and then her ankles can hinge down that far, up, not a whole lot, and then nice ankle pivot. So for me, I think she's pretty cool. I could see why some people are a little disappointed in getting this figure instead of uh, Electra and I believe uh, Sif, the uh, comic book version of her, which I don't know if we have or not yet. Um, so this is really just a repaint. It didn't really, I don't think they did much for improvements through the articulation or anything like that i think they just added a bunch of new accessories maybe new hands i guess and just repaint really um i think they could have done a lot better with the articulation like kicking out like that or if they wanted to give us a bit of a surprise they could have added in like double jointed elbows or something like that i wish they could have that's the one thing that i think a lot of collectors are having problems with they want double jointed elbows from because I know I want one because one of my uh my Electra I meant not Electra jeez Silver Sable uh figure her elbow like her forearm popped off because I was just trying to bend it and it snapped off. So I didn't bend it really much. It just snapped off as I was bending it. So I feel like the single jointed elbows are a little weak compared to the double jointed so I wish they would do a little bit better job with the female figures. I know that She-Hulk has uh, double jointed elbows, but I wish I had the original Sulk just to do a comparison and see if there was anything different. But this is the only one so that I have. So I don't know how the other one is. But besides that, I think she's pretty cool myself. But I see why other people might be a little disappointing in this instead of the other two but besides that um really cool figure to me um but that's all i've got all right i hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure you check out my buddy's instagram page at highlight photos he does really cool photos also my two best friends that i usually play call of duty with sometimes with other games they have card pages christian's card page is bad Buke 767 uh, connor's card page well he doesn't really have one at the moment his jeep's gone he has a new car i will update it when he yeah like decides to put up an Instagram page for it. Um, to uh, sending, donating to my PayPal. It's supposed to help me out with getting, get me being able to do that and I'll also getting more games uh, to do reactions to. When I get the PS5, uh, I'll do a review on it. And then also the games for it. Um, more camera, better camera equipment uh, and a few other things to help make the views a little bit better. And then uh, I will try putting up my own merch store at some point. I just need time to do it. I'm in the middle of baseball right now. I will figure out some way to do it. I do not have a laptop myself at the moment. So if you guys could help me out by donating to my PayPal, it would be really awesome. But besides that, um, if you really enjoy my nerdy, funny gaming, uh, workout, uh, sports videos, other stuff like that. 
Uh, make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.